So hello and welcome back. We are back with Gertrude and we are in the Dragon Isles. I'm so excited about this. I really want to do every single quest that I see. I, I love the Dragon Isles questing. Every bit of it that I've done so far has been so amazing and the story has been so good. And like I said before, I'm kind of curious to see as, you know, if there are any differences between the Horde and Alliance version. But if you remember, last last time we were here, we weren't stealthed. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's uh, something with the new content. That's okay. But last time, this quest over here wouldn't turn in, so hopefully this time it will. Welcome to the Dragon Isles. Welcome. Well, thank you for your welcome. All right, where is Rathion? I'm always here uh, to help. I do not know. As I said, this is my first assignment. Let me think on what to do. Okay. It was okay. nice to meet you. It is truly an honor to be the first member of the Dragonflights to welcome you to these shores. All right, well, we read that already, but cool, cool. Adventuring in the Dragon Isles. Please enjoy your time here. Oh. I know what you can do. The Dragon Scale Expedition has posted a very fine looking map of the Dragon Isles nearby. Their drawings are quite accurate and detailed if I do say so myself. Sorry that you're not here for a review though. You should go check it out and see what areas of the Dragon Isles could use your help. Okay, well, I, I will totally do that. It was nice I think to we're going to be you. doing this first section first, because of course we are. All right, what do you have for us here, Warlord Becca Grimax? Loktar. Loktar. Give peace a chance. Aka Magrash, Gertrude. This expedition is under the protection of both the Horde and the Alliance. Our instructions are clear. Give aid to any members of the Dragonscale expedition, regardless of their other allegiances. The Alliance representative, Captain Garrick, and her son Henry stand guard on the other side of the camp. I fought with Captain Garrick against the Scourge. She is honorable and will serve the expedition well. Go offer her your assistance. Show her that the Horde honors its agreements. Never okay, stop training. I can do that. I, uh, do you really think we can trust them, Mother? I fought alongside many honorable alliance in the Scourge invasions, Captain Garrick included. In other words, daughter, learn from your mom. We also do need to get our leather working and skinning training because unlike in a lot of other expansions in the Dragon Isles, all of your, your gear that you can craft is actually worthwhile, so I'm excited. All right, Aster Cloud Gaze, what do you have for us? Baladash, Malanore. Tati and Niledia have requested a survey report of the surrounding area immediately. Luckily, I have acquired an enchanted telescope and a surveyor's disc that will help us scout out nearby areas from the safety of the clouds. Unluckily, I'm deathly afraid of heights and I cannot bring myself to set foot on the contraption. You're not afraid of heights, are you? Well, I'm sure Gertrude isn't. We will Although have Christine, justice. Christine has issues with heights. Let's hop on and check this out. All right, let's use search for power. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty powerful. Those look like giant water droplets. Possibly scary. Incredible. The elements here surge with power. They they do seem to. They they look like they had hands. Well let's uh search for allies. Maybe we'll find some. I see dragons. And dragon riders. Alright. Dragon riders? I gotta race them! 
I think Toddy wants to ride the dragons. All right, now let's search for danger. I mean, how do we know that those aren't allies? Just because they're giving people lava baths. Can't see a fancier fight with that one. Yeah, I don't want to be thrown in lava. That sounds terrible. All right, well. We will persevere. Aster breathes a sigh of relief. I thought for certain that you would plummet to your death from up there. Thanks again for taking the risk so that I was not required to. The reckoning is at hand. No, no, I'm happy to keep my feet planted firmly right here on the ground. You and me both, Aster. You and me both. Do I see any other quests over here? I see lots of quests everywhere. It's exciting. Not bad, Private Garrick. Continue practicing your orcish. It will prove useful on this assignment. Yes, Mom. I, I mean, Captain Garrick. <laughs> we have a mission to accomplish. Captain Garrick salutes your approach. Warlord Brecca proves her honor once again by sending you to me. It's good to know Best that they're getting along. The crafters, artisans, and explorers of the Dragon Scale Expedition are ill-suited to the vigors of battle, but not you and I, Gertrude. Here in the Dragon Isles, let us use that strength to protect those who can't protect themselves. Clear out the elementals that are encroaching from the north so that the expedition can focus on their noble pursuits. Okay. We'll meet again. Wish our comrade luck, Private Garrick. Blood and thunder, friend. He said that in Orkish. How very nice of him. All right, we have a skinning trainer here. May I be of service? I can instruct you in skinning and how to gather skins of higher quality. Are you interested? Heck yeah. Be kind to those less fortunate. Are you looking for work, Skinner? The Artisans Consortium asked me to gather the scales of a salamander for their customers. I may be an artisan, but I am no one's errand child. But, uh, maybe you could find some? Remember uh, the maybe. lessons of the past. We'll have to see. How about you train me, Welcome. though? Browse at your leisure. Uh, already be well. well, that's good. All right, and, uh, Deidre Fleming is our Warm leather yourself working by the trainer. Forge. Can I interest you in leather working jobs? Probably. All right, Pioneer's Leather Boots. May the Black Anvil bless you. Are you looking for work, leather worker? The Artisans Consortium asked me to craft some boots for their customers. Clearly, they don't understand my popularity. Do you know how many explorers have come through today complaining of holes in their shoes? If you have the time, take these measurements. Perhaps this Artisans Consortium could be a promising business opportunity for you. Well, as well, soon as I figure work. out how to make them, I will. There's more than one way to skin a beast, certainly. Of course, you would know this, leather worker. But do you know how to work with proto-drake leather? I can teach you new leather working techniques that should be useful on the Dragon Isles. The Dark Iron Clan will All forge right. a new future. Well, I would definitely like to learn those. Oh, and we eventually we'll be able to learn Honest something. Honest work is good for the soul. Can I make anything yet? Looks like I can't. But you know what? I've got some adamant scales already, so I'm just going to have to skin everything that isn't nailed down. All right, and Karazal, the Dragon the Isles. Isles welcome you. Our allies require your aid, Gertrude. Your efforts throughout the Isles have not gone unnoticed. Our trusted allies to the south, the Ascara Tuscar, seek to celebrate your accomplishments with a feast. Journey to the lands of Ascara whilst continuing your work alongside the allies of the Accord. When you reach the shimmering waters of the southern lands, do not hesitate to participate in their celebrations. Well, I'm sure Until we'll get there eventually. We and here is our scouting map. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna start right here in the waking shores. 
All right, adventuring in the Dragon Isles. Your decision has been made. You can return to the scouting map at any time to choose another location. Well, I mean, that's always good. Excuse me, Hunter. Can you test something for me? The Artisans Consortium will pay you for your time. Belaya Doros. Um, well met, Gertrude. Could I interest you in earning plentiful riches as a contributor to the Artisans Consortium? I mean, I like money. Clear skies and safe journeys. Are you looking for work, Hunter? I represent a new trade company, the Artisans Consortium, which matches artisans and clients through our Crafting Orders Network. The Dragon Scale Expedition placed an order for some enchanted mining tools. The tools are crafted, but we would like to test them before completing the order. We'll pay you, of course. Okay. Dionysa I will totally test out your tools. And this guy, Grun Ashbeard. Just taking a quick break before I hammer this one into pieces of ore. I love it when the ore walks to you, you know. Oh, he, he's crafting an elemental. Always be crafting. Watch your back. Have you ever seen such powerful elementals? Yahoo! I hear the guards grumbling about having to fight them all the time, but they're missing the big picture. Bigger elementals means bigger crafting components. While you're out there clearing the elementals for our safety or whatever it is you be doing, be sure and pick up pieces of the biggest ones that you can find. I want to try making something out of them. Okay. Off with you. So you want a big chunk of elemental. Got it. And then I also saw a nice thing right here. Dragon Isles cooking. That's a pot. You can't fool me. The head chef is a sentient stove. I love it. The head chef stacks makes a series of cooking related sounds and gestures. His whisks whirl, his burners blister and spit. He bangs on his frying pan with the gravity of a great gong. The entire inn applauds his wisdom. In watching this elaborate pantomime, you find yourself miraculously better at cooking. Well, alrighty. I am now good at cooking. But can you teach me how to cook? Alright. And now, we have Dragon Isles cooking. Yay! What else can we do? We learned to make a twice-baked potato. That's exciting. Alright, do we have any other quests before I head out? Nope, looks like that was about... Oh, wait, we have one to turn in. Can't forget to turn in, Quest. Hey, Sendrax. I, I checked out that map that you wanted me to check out. Ready to serve. The Waking Shore. Please enjoy your time here. Oh, hello! I do have a good idea on what you can do to help us out now. Oh, wonderful. I'm always here to help. Excuse the mess. It was nice to meet you. I wish I knew more about how to welcome you to the Dragon Isles, but I'm just a sentry. Sendrax motions to the tower. You could try talking with Ambassador Farstraz in the Visitor Center. He might be able to answer more of your questions before the dragons arrive. Mind your step in there. He was clearing out rubble last I saw. Okay, I'm so you want me to so restore the adversaries before leading this expedition okay. together? Ah, uh, ah yes. The Horde and Alliance have a long history of rivalry. But Toddy and I pursue knowledge, not violence. And adventure! Knowledge is only half the fun! <laughs> I love the fact that so much of this is voice. It makes me so happy. Alright, what do I need to do here? I need to actually go towards the dot instead of away from it. All right, we need to talk with Ambassador. Ah. Welcome, honored guests. Well, hello. I was standing by you at the beginning. See what is new. The Dragonflights welcome you to these shores, honored undead guest. 
Queen Alexstrasza offers her warmest greeting and awaits the opportunity to host you at the life pool pools when your journey takes you there. But do not rush beyond your own desire. It has been thousands of years since feet of your kind walked this land. It can wait. I am a new arrival with the Dragon Scale Expedition. You take this guide. It shows the embassy's many amenities. <sighs> If they weren't all in disrepair, that is. Well, well, I mean, it's been a long time. So what would you like me to do now? Oh, you want me to sign the visitor's log. All right. The embassy visitor log is a massive tome with a number indicating it is only the recent in a long archive of such logs. Each page is filled with an elegant handwritten form for each visitor to fill out. Well, heck yeah, let's fill out the form. The first column asks for your name. Gertrude. Gertrude, Forsaken Hunter. Huntmaster Gertrude. Vera Mathras. Alexstrasza, the Lifebinder, Queen of the Dragons. Gertrude, the Lifebinder. Gertrude, the real Queen of the Dragons. Rathion's BFF, Chromy, Dreamy Eyes, Caligos, The Angry Ghost of Ysera, or Stonehead. I am absolutely Gertrude, the real Queen of the Dragons. The middle column asks for your arrival time. You can write today's date. Write today's date, hour, minute, and second tomorrow. In the not too distant future, as quickly as I could, sorry I'm late, I'm always late. Exactly when I meant to get here. After everyone's done setting up, last call I hope, or I don't believe in time. Well, to be honest, it would probably be after everyone's done setting up. The final column asks for the purpose of your visit, to aid the dragon flights accompanying the Dragon Scale Expedition, personally invited by Alex Straza, for the Horde, for the Alliance, for Azeroth, for the cute baby ducks. My purpose is my own. <sighs> to save the world, again. To help those in need. To best mighty foes in glorious battle. Why does anyone do anything? Epic loot. I was dragged here by someone I care about. You tell me. I don't read the quests. I just complete them. Oh, I'm sorry, but obviously... I'm here for the ducks. What a joy it is to see new signatures <laughs> in the visitor's log after all these years. Oh, it, it is. It's wonderful. Now what do we need to do? We need to read the welcome message. All right. I don't know that I read dragonish, though. Queen Alexstrasza is far more impressive than any statue you'll find in the Isles. Oh, well, that's good to know. Welcome, friend of the dragon flights. May your journeys in the Dragon Isles bring you tranquility, confidence, and camaraderie. While you travel these aisles, reflect on the... This portion of the tablet is broken off. Remember our oaths to Azeroth, symbolized in the oath stones at the seats of power for each dragon flight. We ask... This portion of the tablet is also broken off. For life and for Azeroth. Alexstrasza the Lifebinder, Queen of the Dragons. Pretty cool. All right, what else do we have to do? Let's see here. We need to relight the Brazier of Kinship, which should be, nope, this way. I love mini maps, but I occasionally get very lost no matter what I'm doing. Oh, there it is. That is a big old torch. Alright, here we go. 
Come on, baby, light my fire. All right. Lady Dysplasia once more guide every peaceful denizen of Azeroth to these shores. You know, I'm sure it will. What are you guys doing? You're just down here gardening together. Good job. I love to see it. All right, I think we're going to go really quick before we turn this in and maybe maybe get some volcanic geodes and some primal elementals. I feel like that's a good idea. There we go. Got a little bit of lava. Was that an elemental? Did that count? I hope that counted. Oh, and we need to do some mining. Oh, that's a good way to mine. All right, well, there's a primal elemental. We need to kill how many of these? <laughs> it looks like uh, a few of them. A little bit tougher than our other stuff, but nothing that Crushy and I can't handle. Oh, and another geode. Yay! All right, I'm going to finish up this quest, and I will see you in a little bit. All right, we have killed earth elementals. We've killed fire elementals. It's time to turn in these quests. Now, the leatherworking and skidding quests are kind of things that we can just work on as we go. Also, can't forget to pick up this flight point, even though we are going to have dragon riding. It's still no big deal. All right, Grun. How are ya? See you soon. I'm going to build a grand helmet first. No, a hammer. No, a big hammer. Here you Great go, my friend. You. There you go. Safe travels. Grun's eyes open wide as you hand him the primal cores. Incredible. This is the best day of my life. Off with you. Well, you know, it could be. Alright, let's turn in this one over here. Hello, Captain Garrett. Together, we'll see our way through this. For the Dragon Scale Expedition. She salutes us. Best of luck to you. Very nice. Ah, and we're getting an achievement with these guys. The Grimax, the first drink is on me once we're both out of, off our ships. You would drink with an orc mom? I would, and I have Private Garrick. And tonight, so will you. Oh, that's nice. All right, do we have anything else? Yes, this is also turn inable. Welcome, friend. Quality assurance. Always glad to help. Thank you for your help, Gertrude. If you ever need items crafted, the Artisans Consortium is here to provide. Please be careful, friend. I will deliver these tools at once. The Dragon Scale Expedition will be quite pleased with their crafting order. All right, let's turn in this one. And then, oh my gosh, it's already almost been 25 oh, minutes and I feel like we've barely done anything. Please but enjoy your time the embassy here. is looking better already. Is every undead as helpful as you are? I can't wait to meet more. It was nice Obviously to meet we you. Are. My first real emergency. I'm always here to help. Sendrax looks puzzled. I've never known the Major Domo to be late to anything, much less this late to something this important. Most unusual. Sendrax perks up at a thought. I could use my emergency signal flare to alert them to your arrival. Then they would come rushing to greet you immediately. I've never fired my emergency signal flare before, though. Oh, you should totally do it. Like, Please enjoy your you time should. here. I, I think you need to send that signal flare. Alert the dragons. We're here. We were trained to only use these signal flares if the situation is dire. I mean, but I suppose this is dire. a type of emergency. Yes. It's a terrible emergency. There. Huh? Major Domo Solistra will arrive soon. All right. Does Oops. the Major Domo personally respond to every call for help? Oh, yes. In times of trouble, uh -huh. there is no one Queen Alexstrasza trusts more. Well, that's exciting. 
we'll just wait here for her then. And here can... they come! Oh, look at that! Incredible. Hey, it's Rathion. Ah, look who we have here! We saw the flare and assumed the worst. What is wrong, Cadet Sandrax? Major Domo, uh, the new arrivals were wondering where you were, and <laughs> I thought... Uh... I see. There was a reason for our absence. Uh -oh. An ancient rival, the Jaradin, have stirred to violence once again. Dragonheart Outpost has already fallen. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we gotta go talk to Rathion now. Speak your mind. Well then, Gertrude, what do you say? Do you fancy a fight alongside your new fine found dragon acquaintances? I assure you, there's no quicker way to earn their trust. Never let your guard down. What is your need? Queen Alexstrasza is eager to meet you, but the Jardin awakening and attacking so suddenly has interrupted our plans. As Major Domo, I will ensure you receive your audience with Alexstrasza as soon as possible, but the Jardin have awoken. The Queen's blessings upon you. I wish we had time for more pleasant introductions, but we can't all be Crow Normu, can we? I am Celestria, Major Domo to Alexstrasza, the Lifebinder, Queen of the Dragons. Queen Alexstrasza asked me to convey her kindest regards and escort you to her at the life pools, but I'm afraid I must ask for your assistance before we go meet her. Our ancient rivals, the Jardin, have awoken from their slumber under the earth and have already assaulted a nearby outpost. Oh, well, that sounds your bad. Your rival is not always your enemy. So, uh, how can I help you defend against these Jardin things? Lifebinder be with you. Cadet Sendrax, escort the adventurer to Commander Lethanak outside Dragonheart Outpost. Okay. Assist with the evacuation of the Welklings and Wounded. Yes, Major Yomo! Rathian and I will take to the skies and keep the Jaradin contained inside Scalecracker Keep. Do hurry along, Champion. After all, we wouldn't want the battle to be over before you even arrive. Are you sure? Engage only when the Welklings and Wounded are secure. The rest of the visitors must remain here until it is safe to leave the Embassy. I'm gonna miss all the fun. Oh, it's all right. There's Tati. plenty to study here before we move on, Toddy. We each have a duty before us. By wing or by talon, see it done. Well, alrighty then. Welcome to the Dragon Isles. The Jarden have awoken. It was nice to the meet Jardin you. The Jarden have awoken. This is not good, Gertrude. Also, there are some proto drakes over there. That's exciting. Please enjoy your time here. Reporting for duty. I'm always here to I've help. Only read of the Jardin in books. Ancient rivals to the dragons, powerful giants with mastery over earth and lava, dedicated to wholly to hunting dragons to their extinction. Sendrax furrows her brow at the distant volcano. My instructor said that they hadn't been seen since the dragons left as they slumbered deep beneath the earth. If they've awoken, every whelpling on the isle is in danger. Follow me. I'll take us to Commander Lefnak at the Dragon Heart Outpost. Please enjoy your time okay. here. We'll, we'll launch let's, expeditions let's to every corner of these isles as soon as it's safe to do so. Oh, where's the fun in being seen? <laughs> Oh, uh, right. do you need Let's my go. help? We'll move swiftly. Dragonheart Outpost isn't far. Oh, that's good. We just have to run through these little lava monsters. I'm sure they won't bother us. Now, I According do know... According to legend, oh. the Jaradin are the dragon's most formidable rivals. I do know they that there ruthless. are some and powerful, killing countless <laughs> dragons in ancient times. 
I hate interrupting her. All right, keep on. When the dragons left and the land went dormant, so too did the Jaratin slumber. But now, the land itself reawakens with glorious life. Oh, so may funny. we never tire of its beauty. Oh, and back to Ronald. We dragonheads have stayed vigilant as we safeguarded the Oath Stones, symbols of the Dragonflight's power. The return of the Jaradim will test us to the limit. May we prove worthy of the challenge. I know you will. Commander Levenak, Cadet Sendrats and Ally reporting on the Major Domo's orders. All right, we made it. The Shrine we'll Guard turn this protect. In. Report back. I will take what reinforcements I can get. We must act swiftly. For the Lifebinder. All right. Well, before allies. we do that, there's actually a set of side quests that I do kind of want to do, if I remember where they are. This is the advantage of having already done this at least once. I think it's right along this river. And then that'll probably be it for at least the start of this week. And we'll do more on Friday. Ah, there's a flying hippo. You gotta watch out for those flying hippos. Alright, so let's jump down here. Hopefully not hurt ourselves too badly. These creatures died traumatically, Faru. We must treat their remains respectfully. What's more respectful than finding out what's killing them as soon as we can? We're supposed to preserve life, Ishka, not just observe it. All I meant is that you could stand to be more gentle during the dissections. Oh, oh, they're they're chopping up a little little duck. All right. We serve once more. Ecologist Ishka. We are watching an ecological collapse, and while I agree we must do something, we shouldn't allow ourselves to act rashly. Why are there so many dead animals here? These poor creatures are victims of the elementals that are encroaching on the wetlands. We've been studying their corpses. Ishka looks at Tharu and then continues. In the hopes that we will be able to keep their fellows from meeting the same end, don't worry. Death for one is food for another. Even death can nurture life. All right. Well, what what would you Aspects have us do? Watch over you. I believe we are gathering enough data safely from here, but Faru is an exceptional ecologist and prefers that we take action. Still, the ecosystem is fragile, and we may damage it if we're not careful. I do, however, agree that we don't have much time. It might be worth indulging him a little. Culling the rampaging elementals ought to buy us time without impeding our research. Be sure to call them in equal numbers. We don't want to throw things further out of balance. So five water and five wind elementals. Honor okay. All dragons. And try not to touch anything. All I need is a contaminated workspace and compromised data. The waters flow once more. What about you, Faru? Enough sitting around. We should be out there doing something now. Until we meet again. It doesn't take an ecologist to see that the wetlands are in real trouble. But Ishka's got us stuck here examining dead creatures when we ought to be stopping them from dying in the first place. The Red Dragon Flight is about preserving life, not dissecting it. I love Ishka. He's good at what he does. But if we wait until he's done puttering, there won't be any wetlands left to save. I'll manage his overthinking. You get out there, get your boots muddy, and rescue some wildlife. All right. Save animals, kill elementals. Gotcha.
we can do this. All right. Let's save us a, a, a disgruntled river beast. There you go. Oh, and you blew me across the world. All right. Well, I'm going to be rescuing beasties and killing elementals, and I'll see you when I get that done. I do have to say, I love rescuing the little crabs because then they follow you around and they get a little love heart over them and it's adorable. So we're almost done. We've rescued a bunch of wildlife. We still have to kill a couple more water elementals and it'll be good. And I think I'm just going to be rescuing crabs because they're very cute. And anything that loves Gertrude has to be good, right? There we go. All right, I guess we should go kill a few more elementals and actually get this done. But they're so cute! Maybe we'll rescue a duck from this evil rampaging water. So I'm curious um, if you've actually done the dragon flight. If, if you've played World of Warcraft, if you've played dragon flight, or if you plan on playing Dragonflight. I really think this is probably Blizzard's best expansion that they've ever done. And that's me saying this from someone who's been around since the end of Burning Crusade. Before this, I probably would have said Wrath of the Lich King was, was my favorite. Although I do like the quality of life that has been kind of... Uh, introduced since then but it was just such a very good expansion all right we need one more rampaging water rescue a couple more of these helpless ducks that are getting spun around in circles and then we can turn this in all right guys i did your dirty work for you A scalpel of a solution. <laughs> oh, Gertrude, didn't see that you'd returned. I think they're bickering. I think they're an old married couple. Ooh, we get new pants. That's exciting. Did that seem to affect anything? No? <sighs> well then, at least we're nearly finished with our research. All right, let's put on our new pants immediately. Oh my gosh, and then we have to empty our very full bags, which I will do in a little while. Ah, new pants are exciting. Enough sitting around. Yes, I rescued wildlife. There, the wetlands are fixed. Meanwhile, Ishka is still doing his taxidermy. I mean, research. Wait, what do you mean the elementals kept coming? Well, I mean, they didn't stop. Forensic Ecology. I'm at my wit's end, Gertrude. Tharu and I have made our way through nearly all the corpses, only to stumble at the end because we can't agree on a methodology. If only he would just listen to me. <sighs> the stress of the situation is getting to us both. I don't even have a firm hypothesis yet. You look like you have a strong stomach. Will you take over these last two Gorlocks? You could borrow my scalpel. Ew, but okay. Uh, Crushy, I need you to just move over there so I can actually see what I am doing here. Uh, yep, those are dead Gorlocks, all right. All right, let's see what, ew. All right, so they're green and yucky. Enlarged swim bladders, water magic? Yes, but look at the lungs. It clearly suffocated. All right, what about this one? Curious. Its bones are hollow. Wind infused? Hmm, <laughs> maybe. But that bloating, it surely drowned. Wind and water gorlocks fighting each other. Pah! What nonsense are they bickering over? Well, I don't know. What nonsense are they bickering over? I mean, what else do you need me to do here? Oh, there's glistening shells somewhere? Oh, yeah, I do see some glistening shells. Are those shells elemental magic shells? 
You were right. There's a lot more to this. Their elemental bickering must be spilling all over the wetlands. All right. It's the Gorlocks fighting that's been harming the wetlands. So I think I understand now. Do you? Well, that's good. A sledgehammer of a solution. Well, I'm glad Tharu now sees my point of view. I'm also grateful he had you rescue wildlife while I was dawdling. The situation is much more dire than anticipated, and he was right to take action. With what we've learned, I fear this elemental bombardment won't stop until we've dealt with the Gorlocks. If I were Tharu, and thinking actionably, I would go straight for their leaders without anyone to rally around, the fighting should dissipate and no longer threaten the wetlands. So you want me to slay Sogglemoggle, the king of the Soggy Maw, and Whirligirl, the king of the Windy Fen? I mean, okay, I'll give it a try. Don't be so selfish, or shellfish. I was a fool to doubt Ishka when he insisted there was more to this. He wouldn't be my mate if he wasn't always two steps ahead of me. We can make it up to him. By taking action, of course. If it's shells that are causing this elemental chaos, why don't you go into their t camp and take the shells right out of their slimy little hands? Bring back piles of wind and water shells, enough for Ishka to research to his heart's content. I think you just want me to get your mate a, a present, but okay. Alright, let's get some shells and kill some kings. Oh no, there's a bubble duck. The duckling flails around frantically inside the bubble, quacking in fright. Maybe the ecologist would know how to help it. Oh, we will totally bring the bubbly duck. I mean, of course we will. Now we just need to find some kings and pick up some more shells and we'll be doing great with our little bubble duck friend. Oh, he's very cute. All right, let's go up the hill and see about maybe taking out the wind dude first. And maybe we won't get attacked. I do remember that you have to watch out for these stupid tornadoes. Because they will blow you right off the hill, which is absolutely no fun. Alright, I think I see the king up there, Whirly Gurgle. Crushy, why are you getting hurt? That's terrible. Don't get hurt, Crushy. I need you to help me fight. Alright, there is Whirly Gurgle. We just have to take him off of his summon typhoon. Maybe take him out a little bit there. Alright, Typhoon is gone. Now we just need to take out Whirly Gurgle. That's a great name. Ah! No, 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 Whirly Gurgle. You are a bad king. Fight mechanics. It's always exciting, isn't it? Oh, there's also... Watch out for the Wind Blast. There we go. Heal up Crushy. Heal up me. I think I remember that the actual water boss is much worse than the air boss. But I guess we'll find out now, won't we? No, 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 no. Bad whirly gurgles. Ah! Wait a minute. Why am I almost dead? That's not a good thing. Maybe I should get out of the out of this. There we go. Crushy, I need your help. Pull this one off me, please. Thank you. You know, as a hunter, your pets are so much stronger than you are. <laughs> Which is, I guess, as it should be. But still a little intimidating. Alright. A few more of these and then we'll go take out the water boss. Alright, it looks like somebody else is here fighting this guy, so that should help. 
You know, we just gotta take out old Smurgle Gurgle. You got this, Crushy. We, we got helpers everywhere. It's awesome. Looks like it's an alliance helper, too, which is kind of nice. Gotta make sure Crushy stays good. There we go. I love being a hunter. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Alright, we'll finish taking out Smarter Gurgle. And then we'll take out this sergeant. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Alliance player. I appreciate you. Alright, what do we still need? We need one more wind-infused shell, so I'm going to grab that really quick, and then we'll turn these in. Alright, we've got everything. Let's get this turned in. Here you go, Faru. What do you see? He's got to look at this little guy. Gertrude, did you bring the Stuckley dust to keep it safe? I think he likes it here. What should we call him? Waddles. His name is Waddles. <laughs> Alright, well here's your shells. Will you let me turn those in, please? Oh my goodness, please let me turn these in. We safeguard the islands. Alright, we'll the a sledgehammer again. of a solution. We'll try it this way. That ought to leave them scrambling, at least for a little while. Thank you for your help. All right, let's complete that the and get ourselves us. some nice new wrist straps. And now we'll Welcome. try you again. It has been so long. That ought to show them. It Continue should. To serve. Ishka and I will take these back to the life pools, somewhere where they can't cause any more trouble. You've done good work here today, Gertrude. May Thanks. the flights protect And you. we'll look after Waddles. Let us know if you find any other lost ducklings out there. Stand I will. In your duty. Bye, Waddles. You're very cute. All right, well, you know what? That is where we're going to leave it because, oh my gosh, this has been a very, very long episode. And so next week we will help the other dragons and see if we can't rescue some whelplings. So I will see you guys back here on Friday. So from me and Gertrude and Ishka and Tharu and the Duck Waddles, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Gertrude. <laughs>